Hey, Cheryl here with step two of my self-care rehab program. Now, I have decided that step two is the coalition of data. Sounds so good, doesn't it? Coalate. Co it's such a good word. FYI, as a side note, Collate in Scrabble is nine points, and in uh, Words with Friends, it's 12 points. Bottom line, play Words with Friends, you get more points. Collating data. Now, I am not a researcher, so when I say collate the data, it's more, you know, that has a whimsical feel to it as opposed to a researcher, here's how you do it feel. So, from the, the data that I have gathered from all of my gratitude journals at night, you know, at the end, I showed you last time, I did my gratitude list and then I did my self-care star with the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual things that I did on, during the day for that. So I took all of that information and as I was going through it, I realized I don't actually do self-care on purpose. Um, and by that, I mean, at the end of the day, I would sit down and I would do my self-care star and I would say, okay, what did I do for my, for my physical self-care today? And then I would think back during my day about those things that I would did and I would write those down. Uh, same with mental, same with emotional, and same with spiritual. So what I mean is I didn't actually purposefully do anything on a given day for self-care. So that's one thing that I realized. Uh... The second thing that I realized is because I don't do it on purpose, clearly self-care is not something I plan. Uh, that was a really interesting thing to find out. However, the other really interesting thing that I found out was there are things that I do during my day that I would consider habits. Turns out they're really good self-care practices. Woo, yay me! I'm so excited. So uh, two that I can think of right away and one of the, um, well, you know what, let me just, I'll just show you one of them. So come with me. I'm going to show you um, a sign that is on my bedroom door. And so this is, this is the sign that's on my bedroom door. It's backwards for you guys. So notice no cell phones beyond this point. That's right. There, are, my bedroom is a no cell phone zone. And so while this, while this picture, you know, this little sign is like, oh, it's a cutesy little sign and people laugh about it. I'm very serious about it. No cell phones in my bedroom. Actually, there are no streaming devices of any kind in my bedroom. I don't have a laptop. I don't have a tablet. I don't have a, for those of you from the 80s, a TV. Uh, none of that is in my bedroom. What there is in my bedroom, though, is... Ooh, if, I have, if I had a laser pointer, I would point it. So right here, I would circle it if I had a laser pointer. See that? See that right there? That is an alarm clock radio. That's right. It's an alarm, it's a clock, and it's a radio. So that's what I use to wake myself up in the morning. And by the way, I was doing this way before Simon Sinek told me to, just so you want to know. Uh, but so there are no cell phones in my bedroom. But not only that. Every night before I go to bed, what I actually do is, are you ready? Are you ready? I shut my cell phone off. True story. I shut, I turn it, I turn it off. I power it down and I leave it in the living room. I know. So when I get up in the morning, so this is the other thing that I do for my self-care that is a habit for me, but it's just something that I do that I now realize, just great self-care, yay, Cheryl. Uh, I stumbled onto it. Uh, when I get up in the morning, I don't rush to turn on my phone and check my messages. I get up, I open the windows, you know, I'll open my balcony door, I'll feed the cat, I'll make a cup of coffee, and somewhere in there I will turn on my cell phone and plug it in to charge it. But even if there are notifications, I don't run to the phone right away and check what's going on. I, I will admit to checking to Facebook to see whose birthday it is, because I'm really bad with remembering birthdays. Sorry for anybody whose birthday I have forgotten in the past, but if I didn't say happy birthday, it's because Facebook didn't tell me to <laughs> anyway, but I don't like, I'm not, I, it, that's not the first thing that I do. I like to take my coffee cause I, I love drinking a coffee in the morning. I love the making of the coffee and the stirring of the milk and the, oh, it's anyway, well, even if it's a nice day, even if it's not a great day, I will go out onto my balcony and I'll sit there and just 
be quiet. Like I don't turn on the, I don't turn on a radio. I don't stream anything. I don't turn on, oh my God, I don't turn on the news. Actually, that's another thing that I do for self-care. I don't, I, I like, I watch the news for five minutes all day long. Maybe get the highlights. That's all I do. Um, but I'll get up and I'll like, I'll have my coffee. I'll go sit on the balcony and just kind of sit there. And to be very honest, I'll watch the birds and I'll listen to them chirp. They've, <sighs> yeah, that's right. I've gotten to the age where birds fascinate the crap out of me. I'm just saying. So I'll sit. And so those are two things that I do that I would consider habits, but are actually self-care practices. So what has come from this coalition of data? From the coalition of data, I pulled out the salient points. Salient. Damn, that's another good word, right? I don't, I don't know how many words that is in Scrabble. I'll find out for you. But so collate the data and pull out salient points. That's step two. What I've done with all of this information is I am now making lists of specific things to do in each category of the self-care star for your self-care. So things to do physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And I'm, and I'm going to let you in on a little secret. There are some winner, winner, chicken dinner ones on there that you can do and hit all four of those points. I'm going to let you know about those ones. Not today though. I'm just letting you know, step two of the self-care rehab program is collate data and pull out salient points such a good word. I sound so smart. Collate. Salient. I'm going to leave you with those two words. Go do some self-care.